Yeah, thank you for uh, asking for advice for the youth of open land. Like I keep saying, if you look at a whole lot of people that have made it out of open, people have to struggle to make a meaningful life. And like keep like I keep saying when I was in uh, secondary school, truth is certain. Is either you focus on your education or you go and learn a trade. So, <clears throat> for those of us that feel that our education is what we want to do, we focus seriously on our studies. But it's not everybody that will be willing to go to school. We still have a whole lot of people that have made it in life and it was not through education, but they were focused on other trade. We have people that are, that are making it as great builders, uh, people making furnitures, uh, people uh, fashion designing and so on and so forth. So it's if you don't want to go to school, you must have a trade. The era of political thuggery, it's over. Most of those people that are using it, are using our youth as political talks. Where are their children? Their children are in the UK, in the US. But when it comes to election periods, they come to you and give you some meager amount of money that cannot even sustain them for few for few days. And after the election, you you will call some of these politicians. They will not even pick your call. So why won't you focus on yourself? I want to focus on what will make your life better. As a youth, you have to be intentional about what you want to do. You have to be focused about your life. Because uh, that's what, what I keep saying about generational responsibility. We all have responsibility. We have responsibility to ourselves. We have responsibility to our family. We have responsibility to our society. But in a situation where you are not even useful to yourself, how do you want to be useful to your family? How do you want to be useful to the community? How do you want to be useful to the nation? So as we go into another election in Kogi states, I am pleading and I'm begging Okun youth. We should shun the act of toggery and we should choose our candidate wisely. Look at their antecedents and look at what they can offer, not what they can take. It's high time we refocus and we strategize ourselves because Kogi State have enough resources that can put us ahead of any other state in this country if you get it right. Thank you.